Oh my goodness, it's Shangri-La. Hey guys, what's going on? Air 6466 here from NXT Zombie Tactics. And today I'm playing Shangri-La once again. If you haven't seen my first reaction gameplay, definitely check it out. It should be on the channel by now. That was the very first time I played uh, Shangri-La and the very first time I played like a map for the first time solo like ever and that was that was crazy. Learned it, loved it. And now uh here we go. This is my um uh what is this? My uh fourth or fifth uh game on this map. And uh, we got a pretty good strategy going. We did get, you know, this map's obviously a challenge, so we did get pretty far, at least uh, in my views, which was far. Uh, not going to tell you guys, you have to wait nine long parts, which should be about three, four days. I'm going to upload three parts a day. And if I get lazy, I won't, uh, but I will, hopefully. So you should see part one, two, and three probably Wednesday morning, afternoonish, and uh, the rest, so on and so forth. So uh, the strategy that we used was uh, we were... Um, Camping up by uh, the minecart, which a lot of people do do now because uh, they find that really, really easy, like a really easy strategy to do, and uh, it's really fun. You know, it's a, it's, it's like a quick thing, no long ass rave trains that you gotta run. It's just quick. It's kind of like Doris, the you know the good old days, the Doris days where you used to camp up there, and the Kino and uh, Five, kind of like that. But I know I know camping's not that great, but uh, it's what you gotta do on this map because moving around this map, you are. It's like almost impossible to do it because this map is it's so tight. Like the corners, <laughs> that's what she said. No, but uh, it's um, it's really really tight and uh, it's hard to get around. It's like um, tight corners, tight rooms. You know, everything's really small, so you got to be really careful where you're going in this map, and you uh, better hope that you stay alive. So, so playing solo on this map is obviously gonna be probably really hard. So uh, good luck to guys like Syndicate and really solo players. Um, because this map is probably not meant for you guys. Um, I'm sure there will eventually be, like, you know, rape trains and strategies and crap like that to uh, go along. But for now, there's not too much to really work with. Because um, shit is just going down on this map. And it is just getting harder. Well, at least I played first time ever round 11. Second time ever round 6. Uh, third time round, like, 10. And then fourth or fifth time, I don't remember, one of the two, I got 20-something. 20, 20 I'm on Oh, I just kind of spoiled it for you guys, but whatever, who cares? And uh, for those of you who are debating whether or not to get this map, I've been receiving a lot of messages on, uh, fucking, uh, oh, what the hell? A bullshit. Fuck is that? No, but I've been getting a lot of messages on, uh, YouTube, so yeah, definitely, definitely, that that's one of two downs in this game, I believe. There's my, yeah, one of two downs in this game, so only that, I only die one more time. And, uh, the first time was kind of really bad. So uh, a lot of you who have been sending me messages saying, should I get this map pack? Should I get it? Yo, it, it looks sick, man. Yo, should I get this map pack? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you guys should definitely get it. It is freaking crazy. Definitely buy it. Uh, I love this map. I easily say my top top three maps uh, behind Doris and Verrucked. It's one of my favorites. You know, it does not compare, like, to any other map in my opinion. You know, a hundred times better than Call of the Dead. Call of the Dead was a joke compared to this. And uh, I know a lot of people didn't really like Call of the Dead, but this is this is just so much better than Call of the Dead. Like, oh my goodness, you don't understand how much I love this. I hate this stupid room back there, though. That one room where the stupid walls change and shit, that pisses me off a lot. But whatever. Yeah, so if if you really are thinking about getting this map, definitely buy it. You know, I'm, I'm going to be taking a look at the multiplayer maps later, and you can check that out on XT uh, Gaming Projects. Um, Check out that channel and subscribe to him. There should be a link to the channel in the description. I don't know what the hell we were doing here. I said we should. Oh, Maxima. I said we should uh, stay in the thing in the uh, starting room and just wait it out, camp it out, and just hold it. So it's only round four. I'm sure we could. And they're like, Nah, let's leave, man. Oh, when I forgot to mention who I'm playing with. I am. I'm playing with Diver and uh, Empty Juice Box. Uh, sorry for mentioning that, guys. I kind of forgot. And uh, they're 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 pretty skilled zombie players. They're not bad at all. You know, I enjoyed playing with them. You know, expect a couple more gameplays from them in the future. And it was uh, really epic. So um, I just want to say thank you to uh, Empty Juice Box and uh, Diver0525. I believe. You know, I'm sure they're watching this video sometime soon. So I hit up the box here, and I get a Spectre. And uh, for those of you who have seen the gameplays before the channel got hacked, like the Kino ones, I love the Spectre. The Spectre 
I just love those small submachine guns that are just crazy and epic. I love those more than anything else. Definitely my favorite. I love them the most, and uh, just I just love the way the Spectre feels. If I could keep it the, real, the entire game, I would. But real, realistically, to like survive and stuff, you can't keep guns like that, like the MP5 or the Spectre or the MPL. You need you need to get rid of those. Get rid of those. Let's get for serious. So guys, if you haven't checked out uh, FMJ's last part of his Darius, uh check it out. Um, he did die last part. It's only like a three-minute part, but it, it's really good. And uh, if you haven't seen his uh, first four parts, uh, too bad. I'm sorry, guys. But uh, when the channel got hacked, they uh, got permanently deleted, and he doesn't have them on his computer anymore. So we're, we're sorry about that. So here I just hit up the power. I like how there are two power switches. It's, it's The first time I uh, played, you'll see in my first reaction gameplay that... Uh, that I actually uh, did not, uh, I didn't know that there were two power switches, so I ran up to go by Juggernaut, and I'm like, what the fuck, did I not turn on the power? So I came back down, I'm like, oh, there are two power switches, damn, so I'm like, damn, that was awesome. And, uh, yeah, so this map doesn't really have many good places to camp, except the place, whoa, no, Napalm! Yo, Napalm zombies get hard to kill, hard to kill, man. They are not cool to be around. Like the tr the Shrieker zombies, they're easy to kill. And, uh, you know, you just pop their heads off a couple shots and that's it. But these fucking napalm zombies are shot after shot after shot into them. And they're still not going down. And, uh, oh my god, no. Okay, my bad. I got three downs total this game. No, why'd you get the max ammo? <laughs> so, uh, three total downs in this game then. And, uh, kind of disappointing three downs but whatever who cares we did play pretty epic wow that, that's sad how I get like two downs and two rounds whatever woohoo <laughs> no I actually love going up that thing it's freaking awesome oh I'm telling him open this and this is where Juggernaut is he's like lol what yeah but it's right there Juggernaut Juggernaut Speed Cola always spawn either there or on the other side of the map I don't know why I knifed it he could probably clearly fucking see it but whatever. Yeah, so uh, back to the uh, three bosses. We got the uh, the Shriekers, the Napalm Zombies, and uh, the Monkeys. Now, the Monkeys have got to be the easiest to kill. It's one shot, one thing. And then the Shriekers with just, you know, pop their heads off. And then finally, we got the stupid fucking Napalm Assholes. And I really like the uh, zombie wave after wave after wave. But uh, I do miss the good old uh, days when you used to be able to, like get a little breather when dogs came or uh, the doctor came or monkeys came you know where you got the little heroes like shit I'm like out of ammo and I got a pistol and that's it I'm gonna have to go buy an M14 then I'm like nah I'm not buying no M14 yeah so um more on that you know and uh it's oh shit is that napalm guy oh my god napalm oh I'm almost dead again almost for the like the third time this game oh they've been horrible no, but I seriously don't go down again. Look at, that, look at that bitch hop off the thing. I think, yeah, we get a double points right there, so I'm just racking up points, you know. Trying to get downstairs. Oh, and about the live commentary, I kind of screwed that up, so I decided, you know what, fuck it, I'll just do an after comm. And uh, here I am just commentating after, obviously. And, uh, you know, part one, maybe anywhere between 10 minutes and 15 minutes, depending on what I can continue talking on about and uh, I'm just ranting on here nuke alright oh shit I got a lot of points that round a lot of points so I think I go down I grab the 74U I believe yeah I do and I just keep it going yeah I grab stamina up you gotta get stamina up man you gotta love stamina up I love it a lot of people don't like stamina up and flopper no, I love stamina flopper. That perk right there is fucking useless. Deadshot Daiquiri, never buy that. Most waste of a fucking perk ever. I don't know why you'd even want that, considering how bad it is. And, uh, I just want to say something. For all you PS3 players, trust me, you are in for a freaking treat. This map is awesome. You know, you guys just wait. It's only a month, not even that long, and, uh... Just wait, you know, you guys are going to love this map. Oh my god, how many napalms on? That's like the third one already. Um, yeah, so guys, just wait. You're going to love it. It is freaking sweet. I know 
probably a lot of you won't like it because it's definitely something really different than what you're probably used to considering Ascension, you know, Kino, that kind of crap, and uh, even Call It Dead is really, really different than this, but um, I don't really have uh, that much uh, insta -K. I don't have a problem with it. I love it. Love it. Fucking love it. And, uh, you know, you guys will probably love it too. So definitely when it comes on the PS3, I'll be doing another gameplay, and uh, I'll be doing lots of gameplays on Shangri-La from now until PS3 release, and then FMJ will probably take over and do a lot more. So expect a lot of Shangri-La on this channel for like the next good two months, guys. And uh, expect a lot from King Clutch when he gets back too, guys. It's gonna be it's gonna be epic. This channel is gonna go get a lot of videos this summer, starting off with the Shangri-La beginnings. All right, guys. I think I'm gonna cut you loose here. This is Aaron six four six six here from NXT Zombie Tactics. Saying peace out, and please rate, comment, and subscribe, and definitely thumbs up this video if you love Shangri-La. And thumbs up this video if you don't like Shangri-La. Alright guys, peace.